A significant number of residents in a South Lansing apartment complex are facing eviction tonight. It's our top story. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. Six News has been following the situation at Autumn Ridge Apartments for months, from red tags to safety violations. And we spoke with one resident who wants to remain anonymous about the effort to evict dozens of people from the building. Our digital reporter Todd Haywood is here for you now with the numbers. City records show that since 2018, Autumn Ridge Apartments in South Lansing have not had a valid rental registration certification from the city of Lansing. That didn't stop the landlords from renting units there, and the city didn't stop new rentals either. Even after two major inspections in late 2022 and early 2023 found hundreds of pages of code violations, including fire safety related issues. Even after two major inspections in late 2022 and early 2023 found hundreds of pages of code violations, including fire safety related issues. But court records show Lansing code compliance officials did not officially tag properties as unsafe or unregistered rentals until January of this year. That move led one woman to begin putting her rent in escrow. Um, so I started paying into escrow um, once the building got pink tagged because it said that we may need to vacate within 30 days. And so I'm like terrified they're not going to do the necessary repairs to get in compliance with the city. City records she obtained showed her building had serious concerns from furnaces to firewalls to fire alarms. Six News obtained those inspection reports in March, all 361 pages of them. Autumn Ridge owners, OPV Partners Limited Liability Company of Southfield responded to the city's enforcement action by suing the city in federal court February of this year. Their claims, among others, were that the city couldn't legally enforce the housing code. Last Wednesday, the city asked a federal judge to dismiss the case. The city also labeled the property a nuisance. Data from 54A District Court, where landlord-tenant cases are handled, reveals OPV has ramped up eviction activities this year. In 2023, OPV filed 65 eviction cases. They won financial settlements and evictions in just four of those cases. 48 cases, the company voluntarily dismissed the cases. Since January of this year, OPV lawyers have filed 95 eviction cases in 54A District Court, 46% more cases in just the first four months of 2024. The Southfield-based attorneys representing OPV in District Court uh, evictions did not respond to a request for comment. Here for you in Lansing, Todd Haywood, 6 News. Now, while investigating this report, digital reporter Haywood discovered one tenant who was recently evicted by default. He had a huge financial record on his error on his court record. His original judgment was more than $16,000, but a clerical error reported that judgment in public records as more than $416,000. After Six News inquired, 54A court staff corrected that error. Had it remained, it could have ended up on the man's credit record, impacting him for years in the future. He was not at his apartment when Six News stopped by this afternoon, and he did not respond to a note left on his door.